Ah, what's up, you brain dead babies? I am back after that weird, stupid beef that didn't need to happen. Anyway, instead of giving that man any more attention because he doesn't deserve it, I thought, let's do something completely different. Let's look at something that I know nothing about. Dating. I don't know why I had to self-roast myself, but anyway. So a while ago, someone showed me these videos from Jubilee. Jubilee is the place I found my favorite dude, Keith, but I also found two girls whose dating standards are higher than Wiz Khalifa. So I thought, it would be really fun to take a look at that. I think it's crazy that most of our dating comes through like apps or phone dating. It's not as much in real life. I've never dropped my books and then looked up and been like, oh my God, it's the love of my life. It's usually a crusty old librarian. Like, can you not do that? Every time you come into the library, nothing's changed. So yeah, today I wanted to ask the age old question. Are your dating standards too high? Anyway, I did a little chart for your standards are too low to your standards are too high. Too low being breathes. If someone breathes oxygen and that's all the requirement it is to love them, you are a very good person, but also your standards are too low because the only people below this are necrophiliacs. I mean, like what? And let me tell you right now, saying that you're a little better from a necrophiliac at something is not a flex. And then we got your standards are a little too high. And that's if you're looking for someone who looks like Brad Clooney, which is a fusion between Brad Pitt and George Clooney. The alternate version of that would be Jennifer Lopez and Jessica Alba, Jennifer Alba. And even just thinking about that, I want to turn around. If you want to know my personal two sexiest people, it would be Mr. Bean and Jennifer Lopez, which of course would be Jennifer Lopez's body <laughs> and Mr. Bean's personalities. <laughs> So you'd be watching like Jennifer Lopez on Mr. Bean like, damn, she is sexy as hell. And then she just does something and she's like, Tadu. and you're like, whoa. But before we start, I wanted to give a quick shout out to the sponsor of today's video, Keeps. Now, if you're not new to the channel, then you've probably heard about Keeps before. But if you are new, did you know that two out of every three guys experience some form of male pattern baldness by the time they're 35? That's the majority of guys. It's concerning, isn't it? If someone ate two thirds of my sandwich, I would be very concerned. Keeps offers generic versions of the only two FDA approved hair loss products out there, and they ship it right to you. It's really that simple. No annoying in-person doctor visits, nothing like that. Prevention is key. Keeps treatments can take up to four to six months or more to see results. So it's important to act fast. The sooner you start using Keeps, the more hair you'll save. The best way to prevent hair loss is to do something about it while you still have hair left. And you may have tried some of these products but never for this price so if you're noticing that you're losing hair do something about it now for a limited time if you go to keeps.com 16 leo or click the link in the description you'll receive 50 percent off your first order thanks again keeps now back to you futurely where is he if you want to join the brain dead big babies then please hit that subscribe button i would love you for it and do follow me at 16 leo underscore on instagram to give me any ideas for the next video Thank you. Okay, so the video is called 20 to 1 Speed Dating 20 Guys. Jubilee X Sulfa. I don't know what that means. I think that's a spell that they use on witches. So the whole premise of this is one person sits in the middle and 20 guys surround her. I know what you're thinking. You've seen videos like this before. No, no, no. This one's with the clothes on. Usually the person in the middle describes what they like and what they don't like. And out of the 20 people, if they don't fit that criteria, they have to leave until there's only a few people left. They thought this would go well, but they picked two of the most detestable people with standards so insanely high that it's like, why? You got a hot chick coming on on your, on your phone. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Do you feel like it's good to be like forthright about what you're looking for? Absolutely, because if he's a Scorpio and you don't want a Scorpio, it's like, why waste your time? So already from the first 10 to 20 seconds, you can see that she's a lost cause, but we keep watching the video. It's like, you can't change your star sign. How are you gonna predict when you were born? You just came out, you're like, whoa, what the f is this? Real life? The only thing you need to know about when I'm born is the year that I'm born in, okay? <laughs> so this is already like a cult, basically. This is what this looks like. Did I forget to tell you they're messaging instead of talking to one another? There's a lot of white going on, black pants, everybody seems to be in unison. I don't like that. I wish everybody had their own style and then she'd probably come in and be like, oh, you look dope. You're wearing a Led Zeppelin shirt. That's dope. Okay, cool. Whoa, you guys.
Ah, uh, yeah, they also created the group chat, which is probably the funniest part of this whole video. My favorite dude is Raphael Bono. Oh, I don't know if his name's Bono, but I'm gonna call him Bono. And he said, hello, Dolly. Uh, I mean, Angela. Haha, <laughs> good stuff. He's got mad game. And by game, I mean not mad game. <laughs> Wanna go on a datey date? See, just, just from that, I would walk out the studio and the city and just find another city to live in. A datey date? When I have sexy sex? Like, uh, uh, what? We do. Wow, look at the innuendo on Raphael over there. I love to eat dates. That is either very innocent or like the most sexual thing ever, or both. I'm not gonna lie, Raphael, that photo is not doing you any good. That is not the best depiction of. You should have definitely held the camera a little further back. Like if you're Scorpio, like, I'm not even into astrology either. <laughs> well, you clearly fucking are if you're gonna talk about horoscopes as a dating preference. What? I'm not even into eating. <laughs> 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 If you a Scorpio, go away. So that was it. That was it. If you're born in like November, go away. And you know what? I just had another idea. So now there's another line from not stupid to stupid. I would say this is one of the stupidest reasons not to date someone. And I'm gonna put it very high up on the list. Horoscope. Call me Walter White because I've got a strong case of cancer. Raphael, you need to shut the f up, bro. What? Is that, what? Chirp. What? Chirp? Chirp? Is that a human reaction? Was it, if someone did that in the doctor's office, I'd be like, Chirp. See, See that, that person, person immediately. immediately. I definitely do need to date somebody who's like down for vegan food once in a while, all the time. Oh, fucking hell, I didn't even know this video had anything to do with that. You know what? I think I have someone for you. He's a beautiful, beautiful man. I think he's like 30 years old. He lives in his chair, I think. And he likes to gain a lot of popularity by hating on people. You might really like him. I don't know if he's a Scorpio, but he definitely stings. Look, look at his face. <laughs> This guy looked like he'd been through fucking shell shock, Vietnam War, and World War II combined. He read that, he's like. <laughs> okay, so diet. I think diet is somewhere in the middle. I don't think it's the worst thing to, you know, to want someone to share a similar diet, but I really don't personally think it's a big deal. I think it's neither here nor there, honestly. Really? Everyone's down to eat vegan food? If anyone's not down to eat vegan food. Sure. Sure, sure, sure. I'm, I'm sorry, ma'am. Are you a truck backing up into someone? Can you not do that? Sure, 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 sure. People are like in the park, like what the f is that a big bud? What is, what is that? Nope, it's just Angie again, chirping away. <laughs> Wait, do we have swipe on our phones? She said, if you're not down to have sex in the beach, leave. Uh, Raphael just hit her back straight away. DTF anywhere, anytime. Raph, come on, Raphael. How is one man sound desperate, clingy, and overbearing at the same time, and I've never met him. Raph, can you calm down? Play it cool. Be like, yeah, man, I like the cool breeze against my nutsack. Make some beach sex puns, like I'll rub your coconuts together. <laughs> Come on, Raph. I hope she gets with Raph. I, I would really want to see him talk at the end of this. Yeah, okay, when it comes to intimacy and stuff, that one is very plausible, and I think that's uh, important that both people get it right. Uh, I don't think that's stupid at all. I think that's probably one of the more reasonable things that she said. So, cool. Really? Everyone? Really? Everyone? Really? Everyone? I'm, Wait! I don't I believe you. it. <laughs> Do it. Really? Yo, that's a genuine dude right there. He's like, listen, man. I already have crabs. <laughs> I got crabs once. I'm not doing it again, baby. This is over. 
You know, I really do love brown eyes. Like, I'm gonna start there. I like brown hair and brown eyes, fellas. If you don't have dye, see ya. Sorry, not sorry. And just like that, she erased everyone. <laughs> this counts. This doesn't count. Am I out? I think so. <laughs> oh. That was so awkward. What the hell? He looked at her, he was like, am I out? Can you not just make an exception for this one man? Oh my god, woman. That's how much you like black hair and brown eyes? What? This dude might dye his hair one day and you're like, get out of my house. Get the fuck out of my house. M not, yeah, I didn't even know your name. I was gonna call you Martin. Your name Matthew. Get out of my house. I didn't even recognize you when you changed your hair color. Martin, when you married me, you had black hair. Now you dyed your hair to blonde and I hate you. I hate you. I hate the kids. I hate everybody. Oh, I'm so sorry, Martin. I didn't know that was a wig and this is Halloween. I love you again, bro. Somebody told the fucking hilarious joke in the chat, bro. <laughs> Look at Matt Fernandez. <laughs> I don't vote. <laughs> Matt is really laughing his ass off, bro. Yeah, I'd prefer somebody who is not religious. If you're religious, please um don't be and excuse yourself. <sighs> um, okay, well, this one is something I don't usually get into personally. I do not care. I think it's actually cool if someone has a different perspective. I guess I'm really in no position to make that judgment call off whether it's important or not. So I'm just gonna put that in the middle right there. Be like domestic partners. That's a legal term. No marriage, no kids. Honestly, no cats either. I do want a house with a backyard to grow some strawberries. So you don't wanna get married. You don't wanna have kids or cats. So just you, your man, and a dog. Forever. Nice. You sound like a real catch. Uh, and you know what? She did that thing. She asked the question, and it's gonna backfire. She said, who wants to get married eventually? And everyone who says yes, she's gonna be like, leave. She did them so dirty on this question. Like, I don't get that Beyonce song by putting the ring on it. Who's Jazzy? Who's Jazzy and Beyonce? <laughs> And what about kids? Do you watch Teletubbies? Do you watch Sesame Street? <laughs> She's like having a stroke every time she talks. Look, I'm not telling people how to live their life and stuff, but <laughs> we were all kids once too. They're so adorable and beautiful and innocent. I, I don't know. I think it's pretty cool, but whatever. Oh, uh, she said whelp. You know when people say whelp that they mean business. You gotta prepare your ass for that beatdown that you're gonna get. Oh, Leo, have you heard about your crush, Angela? Yeah, well, pff, fuck, I guess she's married, huh? Oh, Leo, remember how I said you won the lotto yesterday? Well, pff, ah, yeah, I guess I gotta sell the Lamborghini that I bought on credit, huh? That is the scariest four letters to read in a text ever. Joseph Haynes was right. Why do I feel like we are about to get the Thanos snap? Because you are. <laughs> this dude actually f***ing rolled out of, he actually did it. Autobots, roll out. That's that, those were all my questions. That's that. He seemed like he was sad to win. Like, I just think like, I know what I want. Why not say it to manifest it? You're too young and it's like, okay, cool. I have no control over that. Or like, you smoke too much weed. It's like, well, I have control over that, but fuck you, I'm not gonna. I do agree with like knowing what you want. And you have to be somewhere in the middle, at least with the standards thing. I don't think anybody should ever settle for someone. I think that you should, definitely have your standards up. But at the same time, you don't understand that there are 7 billion people in the world and you cannot possibly predict which one of them you're gonna love. It's the most beautiful thing to not know. Because when you do find it, you just have that feeling and there's nothing else like it. You'll know, I'm telling you. How do I know? I don't. I fucking so sad every day. Flo! Um, can I type it? Cause I don't know what it is. So what's your number? Um, six, six four, four eight, eight six, six ten, ten five, five one hundred and thirty two, bro. Giannis other than Kumpo, 
Shaquille uh, O'Neal. Yeah, type that in your phone. Call me later. Bye bye. I've never seen a dude so reluctant to give a woman his phone number before. <laughs> I do have one more goal to look at with you guys. And this girl, she's the bee's knees, baby. She is the actual worst person. Are you hoping to find a match today? Yeah. Yeah. You know what? I feel like maybe you should treat a first date a little more like an interview. You can't answer things with- Yeah! I mean, I'm hoping not to continue this pattern of very, very bad men. Well, I mean, you found them, so... Says more about you than them, but anyway. So this is Tiffany. Let's just say she has a high opinion about herself. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Did you see who was there? It was your boy, Raphael Bono. He's back. <laughs> All right, there he is. There's my boy, Raphael Bono. Looking good. Mm. That's a nice face, Raph. That's, a, that's exactly the same DP. I told you to change it, but you didn't. Let's see how far it gets you. <laughs> <laughs> that's insulting. Would anyone not date me? Uh, yeah. Yeah, all right. Uh, taxi? I don't even know what a taxi is. Uber? <laughs> this guy saw that guy leave. He's like, yes, I also want to break out of Shawshank prison. I can see that this is trouble. I'm gonna see you later. All right, bye-bye. I love to dance, so I don't like it when I'm with somebody who's a total Debbie Downer or boring and just kind of stands there and doesn't want to dance. I like to party. Why do I keep finding bad guys? Huh? I like to party! Yeah, as I was saying, I keep finding like horrible guys. Every time I'm on the dance floor, like grinding my ass into someone, I'm like, oh, can you please keep it to yourself? Can you can you keep it in your pants, okay? Just because I like grinding on people doesn't mean I like getting ground on, okay? Oh, there, there's the other problem. I drink a lot. I like to party, and then I like to drink, get shit-faced, grind up on everybody like a fucking pole. And, and then I, I would, ideally I would like an accountant or someone who is just very nice. Who do you think you're gonna meet if all you like to do is party and drink? Do you think you're just gonna find a philosopher in between the crowd like, Oh my god, all I see is beats in this club. And I wish I could beat time. That's the only thing that seems to get the better of me. Oh yes, you like dancing, don't you? Yes, as I was saying, time. Time is a man-made construct. If we're at a club or bar and you're just the type to not dance and just stand there, please go stand somewhere outside of the circle. I can see where she's coming from. Although if my partner didn't dance, I wouldn't have a problem with it. Want someone open-minded, but not a freak. So you shouldn't be into feet, but you know, a little choking is a little fun, well, you know. Oh, so you want them to be open-minded, but only to what you like. So choking is fine, but if this poor dude likes feet, then that's a problem. He can't, can't like feet, but if he wants to murder you, that's dope. Yeah, choke me. Don't look at my feet. Don't stop, ew, disgusting. That's mean. <laughs> Also, Raphael Bono comes in with a timely response. I think having sex the same way all of the time will get boring by the third time it happens. Which leads me to believe one very sad fact that I probably thought was true. Raphael Bono probably has not had much of the sex. Because he said, I think my boy, Raphael, I'm rooting for you. You shouldn't have said that in text. We should just make a chart for all the things Raphael Bono should never have said and it would just fill this paper. So they need to be, I think, at least 5'11", but I prefer like six feet tall. All right, so this is the um, pivotal thing. It's always sad when a girl looks at you and she's like, you're so cute, but I like people who are tall, tall. That's always sad to hear because it's like, you can't change the height you wear and it doesn't go the opposite way. It's not like guys have the option. You know, sometimes a guy might be stupid enough to be like, oh, I don't like your boobs are too flat or something and then, Women have that option, I guess, to get their breasts done. Men don't have the option to grow in size. If a girl looked at me and she's like, yeah, you're pretty cute, but you're not like six foot eight. I'd be like, bro, what do you want me to inject myself with stilts? If you have a certain dress style and someone doesn't like that, that's more of a preference because you can and do have the ability to change it. If suddenly she's like, I'm into bikers now, then you could start wearing a helmet if you want to have sex with her. All I have to say is if a girl tells you to grow in size, you should tell that girl to grow in maturity because we're past that stage, okay? 
Matt already knows what's up. She said I'm 5'6", so she's gonna like guys who are like 10, 12 inches taller than her. Stainos was stricken. So just anyone who's an average height is just like out of her radar. This is why you're single. Imagine not dating someone because of how tall they are. Like they could have the best personality, the nicest face, everything else, but they're not tall enough for you. Bro, this girl's ego must be six foot five or something because that is such a weird thing to say, isn't it? I think it's stupid. I'm gonna put it down as stupid. In saying that, if you're a girl who's like six three and is like, I'd like a guy who's a six five, it makes a lot more sense than a girl who's like 5'2 and being like, I only date people who are 6'6 six, six and above. I um, would not want to be with somebody who wants kids within seven years. I love kids. I've been an aunt since I was 10, so I'm like a natural around babies and kids. Well, that's not what a kid is, you jackass. If you're an aunt, it means that the kid goes home to their actual parents. It doesn't mean you're great with kids. It means you're great for the time that the kids are there with them. There's a huge difference. I want to really just share a love with somebody. I think you should be mentally stable as well, financially stable, because you're going to be responsible for shaping their future. I do agree. Not the seven years specifically. I don't know why she needed a specific time frame for that, but I definitely do agree that it should be something that you're mentally capable, physically capable, and monetarily capable of handling. <laughs> Oh, this is the stupidest one. Watch this. You know what? I have a younger brother and anybody younger than me, I just automatically think of my brother, so. She said that. She, she said that. Yeah. Like they could be the hottest person in the room. And if they tell me they're even a month younger than me, I'm just like, oh, I just see my brother and it's like, oh. If they're even a month younger, I'm like, ugh. They could be like, mm, so sexy. If they're even a month younger than me, I'm like, ugh. You're like my brother. Why would I want to have sex with my brother? Oh my God, you were sexy before I knew how old you were. Ugh. They're like in the bed and stuff and she's like, how old are you? I'm 26. Okay, me too. Okay, but like what month were you born? Uh, July. Okay, me too. But like what day? Uh, 24th. Why, why do you keep asking these questions? D uh, 24th? Me too. That's so crazy. Uh, what time of the day or night were you born? I don't know. What... What does this have to do with anything? Well, like, you know, if you were born uh, before me, even like 10 seconds, then you're like technically my brother. And this is like, this, uh, this is like incest, basically. They're even a month younger than me. I'm just like, oh, I just see my brother. And it's like, oh, would not date my brother. She had to specify that, huh? Would, would definitely not date my brother. I thought about it, you know, he's not bad, honestly. Um, but he's too young for me. <laughs> that, that, that's the problem. <laughs> that's the I don't care that he's my brother, but he's like too young for me. <laughs> 26 in July. I'm 21. Raf! 20, but my friends say I'm mentally 25. Raf, I'm not your friend and I say physically you look 38. Oh, I don't know, 20? Okay. 24, almost 25, 25. I'm gonna die alone. Bye, everyone. Yeah, I'm gonna put ageism as the stupidest thing on this list. I put down ageism and then in brackets brother because I think that explanation to go along with the explanation is just as bad. Like if you just have a preference and you don't like dating people younger or older, I wouldn't put that as the most stupid thing. I, I guess that's your preference, but her reasoning behind it is possibly one of the stupidest things I've heard in a long time. Bro, imagine me going to date someone who's older than me and then I'm like, oh my God, you remind me of my grandma. And she's like, oh, I'm 26. I'm like, oh, oh, oh. Why is anyone younger reminding you of your family member? What kind of weird thing is that? <laughs> You're gonna be single for a while. <laughs> He's absolutely 100% right. He had the right to say that. You gonna be single for a long time. That was rude. <laughs> no, it wasn't. <laughs> Everything you said in this video was pretty rude. He was just responding. Today I learned that uh, my criteria is <laughs> not, I guess, easy as I thought it was. These are values and things that I don't want to bend and change right now. Can I recap your criteria to you? So your criteria is a guy who dances at a bar with you and is not a downer who chokes you 
uh, during intimacy, but is not into feet at all. He also has to be six foot and above, but also doesn't want to have kids within the next seven years, but also has to be older than you because if he's younger than you, then he'll remind you of your brother. So that's your criteria. What you're looking for is probably a whale because whales are definitely over six foot. Uh, lots of them are like thousands of years old, which I think is older than your brother. I think they have great rhythm and I, they have a lot of sperm, but no kids, so. I used to really beat myself up in my past relationships after they ended because I felt like I wasn't good enough. You shouldn't have to bend your values and what you want to please somebody else. So that's the final point again that I wanted to make is that of course you should never have to settle for someone. But at the same time, I think that any normal decent human being will be open to things. I think there's a huge difference between having preferences that people can control and preferences that people can't control. Skin color, height, eye color, not things you can change. So if you're looking for certain things like that, maybe you deserve a person who's also looking for only those things. And I hope that people aren't exactly like her because if this is what dating is like, I could, you could see why I don't do it. So to recap quickly, preferences that are not so bad are like intimacy or diet and possibly religion and things that are really stupid, uh, height, horoscope, and ageism when you're relating it to your brother. I think the only thing that I've learned today is not to go on Jubilee to try and date someone. That might be the only lesson I can take from this. Anyway, guys, that is the video. Thank you so much for tuning in to watch. I just wanna say thank you again for sticking with me through everything, and I will see you very soon on the next one. All right, Fluffs, what did you think about the situation? She ain't gonna do no porno, you know what I mean? So if I were to see her topless or whatever, I'd be like, oh my God, you know?